Hello, we're back. To games with Scotty, I'm Scotty. We were just, uh, we, were, we, were, we were just, um, we were just playing this game, and I was very curious to see what would happen if I just click end. But it literally just ends. <laughs> There's no one here. I can't help looking around, probably because I feel a little guilty. Can I go back to my? <laughs> can, wait, is that it? Is that literally it? Can I just go back to my room? You go for a day. Oh shit. Anyway, she was like, I just need to forget about the incident. And now it's, I won't let you forget. Huh? I won't let you forget. <laughs> Who's there? Where are you? I won't let you forget. I won't let you forget. I won't let you forget. For forgive me. Forgive me. Never, 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 never. I will never forgive you. Ah, girl A, what what happened? Did something happen? This is bad. This is really bad. Uh, uh, her head is split open like that one time. It, it's probably the curse. It's the curse. It's all the curse's fault. Because of the curse, girl E, what happened to girl E? Take a look in there. Classroom 1B. Is it this thing? Clatter, clatter, clatter. Oh, shit. Game over, down five. Huh? This is the end? Wait, now it's game over for some reason. I don't get it. Even the game structure doesn't make sense. It started with second day all of a sudden, and jumped to the fourth day afterward. Is today the second day? I mean the fourth day? Why were the first and third days skipped? And what's with the down five message on the game over screen? Down five. Who's down by five? What the heck is this? I don't get this at all. How would this even be the motive? Is this what it's like to play a crappy game? For now, it's a waste of time to just stand here and I should go back to the cottage and think about it. Yeah, because I don't get it at all. I went back to my college feeling hazy and disoriented. As I try to get as I try to think about why it felt so strange, I fell asleep without realizing it. How weird. Good morning, everyone. Now then. Good morning. Morning, huh? In the end, that game is still a mystery. I don't even know why it would be a motive. I should just bite the bullet and try discussing it with everyone. I guess I should head over to the restaurant. As usual. Hotel site. But first. How are you doing? How many, um, shits do you need? I mean, <laughs> steps. A lot. Great. Fuck, everyone's here now. Good day. Good morning, Hajime. Yeah, good morning. After greeting everyone, I put some food on my plate and sat myself at the table near the window. Yo! What is it, Hajime? Is that all you're gonna eat? What? You just eat too much, Akane. You. You're the one to talk. All you eat is candy. Why? Just because it's candy doesn't mean you should make fun of it. These gummies have four different fruit flavors, so I'm sure they're full of nutrients. Like, you should just eat real fruits. This seems like a bad time to bring up that game all of a sudden. I mean, we did agree before that we shouldn't even play it. Let me tell you. Is this. Mahiru missing? Mahiru, who's Mahiru? <laughs> hmm. After Gundam said that, I looked around the restaurant, and sure enough, there was no sign of Mahiru. Oh, she's the photographer that we met. That looked like she was about to play the game too. <laughs> She's always here every morning. It's strange for her not to come. You think that's her? The girl that took the picture? Like, you know, in, in like the game? <gasps> Wait a minute. Now? No, no, no I, I got conspiracy theories going around my head right now. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna keep quiet. Cause they're, they've always been wrong. <laughs> um, I wonder if she's not feeling well. Maybe. If she just doesn't feel good, that's fine. But there's a small chance that she's... What? 
What the? A small chance that she's what? Oh, hmm. oh, I saw Mahiro. She was outside the hotel. <laughs> oh, I see. Jeez. Don't say such a spooky thing. Let's go. As punishment, how about you run around in a circle three times saying woof and I'll and jump off a cliff? <laughs> I don't want to die like that. Hey, hey. But what was Mahiro doing outside the hotel? Yeah. She said she wanted to be alone. I even asked her to come eat with us, but she turned it down. What? Wanted to be alone? Um. Maybe she's planning to play that game. Shut up! What are you saying, Pig Barf? There's no way Mahiro would play games. She's not like that slowpoke gamer girl over here. Huh? Ah, were you referring to me? <laughs> hey, I'm a Pig Barf, aren't I? Looks like it's going to be impossible to start talking about the game. And while I was lost in thought, someone quick, quietly sat down across from me on the table. Yo! Hey, Hajime, got a second? What is it? Kazuchi leaned forward out of his seat, glanced quickly around the room, and whispered to me. Yeah. Today, 2.30, come to the supermarket, but don't tell anyone else about it. Huh? I'll tell you the details later. Everyone else can see us right now. It's bad. What does he mean, it's bad? You hey, what are you lowly creatures discussing amongst yourselves? Well... Nothing. It's got nothing to do with you, so just relax and go away. <laughs> Did you think I was worried about you fiends? <laughs> you make me laugh. Laugh, I say. You've elevated arrogance to an art form. Shiver. What sort of supreme ruler feels concerned for the ants who are destined to be crushed? My name is Gundam Tanaka. I am the forbidden ruler who makes even the god of darkness flee in terror. Fall, my tears. All I desire is silence and indifference. Silence and indifference. I never took him for the lonely type. For now. Anyway, Hajime, that's what's happening. So I'll tell you then. You know, right? Just so you, you know, make sure you conserve your energy. Huh? Conserve my energy? <laughs> I'll see you later. What? what was that about? Instead of talking about games, I received a strange request from Kazuchi. And that day's breakfast came to an end. <clears throat> so much talking, nothing's happening. Ugh, Kazuchi told me to go to the supermarket at 2.30 p.m. But what did he mean when he told me to conserve my energy? Well, I guess I shouldn't wander too far out now. Another- this is th three free times? Come on, something's gotta happen. I'm getting bored here, just like, um, Monokuma. <laughs> mm. I don't want to spend that much energy today. I think I'd rather just sit still and read a book or something. What should I do? Should I hang out? Hey, yeah. Hey. You want to read too? Let's go to the library together. But the library is far. I spent time today reading with Chiaki. Looks like Chiaki and the guy grew a little closer. Would you like to give her a present? Sure. Let's give her Blue Ram energy drink. Because she's so sleepy, she needs that shit. A present from Haji, yep. right? Ah, yeah. I'm actually really happy. Thanks. Hey, hey. Where do you want to go today? This is the first time I've seen Chiaki look so interested. And she's not even sleeping. Maybe she looks forward to this. Let's see. Why don't we check out the storage room in the old building? We might find something yep. interesting. Like Sokoban? That's a fun game to play. It's this old puzzle game where you have to push boxes in a warehouse to, to their assigned spots. Let's oh, go. I see. Then let's win over Monami so we can get inside the storage room. Chiaki pumped herself up after winning over Monami. We went into the storage room. Hmm. There's not a whole lot you can push and pull. Don't tell me you were serious about playing Sokoban in the storage room. No wonder she seems so excited for coming here. Hey, hey. Hey, Hajime. Are you good at puzzle games? I'm fucking awesome at puzzle games. Nah, I'm not that good at using my brain. You think so? Really? Maybe you just don't like them because you haven't played that many. Well? You know how to properly theorize in order to view things, and you can calmly manage when, what's, when it's important. I feel like you'd be good at puzzle games once you get the hang of it. Huh? You really see me like that? That's kind of embarrassing. See? For example, Rubik's Cubes and Jigsaw Puzzles are puzzle games too. Oh yeah, I remember putting together a lot of Jigsaw Puzzles when I was little. See? Yep, yep. Then you already know the trick, right? The trick to Jigsaw Puzzles? Assemble from intuition, assemble from the middle, assemble from the outer pieces. Um, you assemble from the outer pieces, right? Yep. That's right. First you separate the pieces with edges. Afterward you separate the leftovers by color. It makes putting it together a lot easier. I see. Now I kind of feel like putting one together since I've been since it's been such a long mm. time. That reminds me, my father always programmed puzzle games. Your father's a programmer? Yep. yep. Apparently he was pretty manly when he was focusing in front of his laptop. Mm. But I heard he couldn't solve a puzzle he made and it really depressed him. 
But since he hated losing, he actually went out of his way to write a separate program. And then he made the program do the stuff, like a brute force attack. Brute. What? Um, uh, um, it's a way of forcibly finding the answer. No worries, though. It's normal for you not to know. I know what brute force is. I don't really understand it, but it seems like Chiaki also knows about programming. But more importantly, why does everything she say about her father sound so hearsay? Wouldn't that mean she didn't personally see it? Hey, hey. Hey, we should keep going. We should go in and head back. Huh? Yeah, you're right. Ah, huh? I quickly opened my arms and caught Chiaki as she fell into them. Uh, are you okay? Thanks. Ah, how embarrassing. I've never tripped before in my life. Ah, she said that. She stepped away from my chest. My heart. Sounds really loud. Of course it does. It's my heart. Ah, that surprised me. You're pretty hard, Tajime. What? Huh? 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 Well, excuse me? <laughs> Unlike me, your arms and chest are really built. You're definitely a boy. What the fuck? What the fuck is happening here? I have to. We, I, we we were gonna play video games. What the fuck is this? Oh, that's what you meant. Yeah, that's obvious. But I'm glad you caught me. That means I'll be fine in case of emergencies. Sleepy. Even if I suddenly get sleepy, I'll be fine. You can carry me. Hey, don't sleep. Shaki's hmm? report card has been updated, based on your experience with her. I almost have full. I just need one more. Shaki, please don't die. <laughs> At least not right now. We walked her back to her room. Looks like it's almost time to meet up with Kazuchi. He told me to come to the supermarket. What's the thinking all of a sudden? Let's just go. Oh yeah. Automatic travel. Huh? It's well past the arranged time and there's no sign of Kazuchi. Maybe because you're freaking late. Hajime. All of a sudden, the anxiety I had been keeping inside me began to swell up like a balloon no! until... Ah! Whoa! Whoa. Hey! What the heck? Don't get all pissed off just because I was a little late. Late? Oh, I get it. I totally forgot he's that kind of guy. The guy who doesn't mind showing up late, even though he's the one who asked me to come. That kind of guy. Well, it sort of makes sense. So what do you want? Why'd you call me out here like this? Hey. Well, you know, you can do... Can you do me a little favor? A little favor? Uh. I just overheard something. Apparently, it's Miss, Miss Sonia's idea for a change of pace. It looks like the girls are secretly planning to go splash around at the beach. It doesn't seem so secret now. Wait, don't tell me you... <laughs> As expected of Miss Sonia, splashing around in the sea is a nice idea. I admire her so much, it's shocking. My heart trembles around her so much, it's about to burn out. <laughs> so, let's crash it together. Why me? Hey, hey. Well, it's weird to fake a coincidence. Well, it's weird to fake a coincidence all by yourself, isn't it? So how about a scenario where you and I go to the beach and then we run around we run into the girls by coincidence? Hey, you better not say no. I can't ask any other guy to help me with this. Nikumoro can't keep his mouth shut to save his life. And Gundam is well Gundam. Fuyuhiko and Nagito are out of the question. I understand where you're coming from, but I don't feel like going to the hey. beach. Hey, I took the time to prepare your swimsuit, you know. And now you're just gonna walk all over it like it's some kind of act? You're snapping at me? If you say no, I'm gonna bug you about it until you die. There's no way he's joking about that. This is Kazuchi after all. If I have no choice, then fine. <coughs> That's my Hajime. That's how a soul brother should act. <laughs> so what do I have to do? Well... Based on what I overheard, it looks like they're going to Tr Chandler Beach on the second island. All right. That's why we gotta head over there to the diner first. Our plan is to be at the beach before they get there. And we're gonna act like it's just a coincidence. Got it. So I need to go to the Engine's diner. Revving. Yahoo! I'm getting excited now. That was embarrassing. I wish I didn't said that. <laughs> well, that makes one of us, I suppose. Looks like he just can't take a hint. What am I supposed to do? Go to the diner? Is that what he said? Fine. Yep. There's no time for you to make a detour. Oh, wait, wait what? You know. What the right? heck are you doing? It's fine to stake out the beach from the diner. Sika oh, the other diner. Oh, okay, what you mean. All right, now what? <laughs> All right, we're here. Now we just have to stake out a spot and wait until the ladies arrive. Is he sure about this plan? I mean, isn't this a little too stalkerish? It's very stalkerish. Very stalkerish. Well, what do you want me to do? And when when are they gonna come? Did you happen to overhear that when your sensitive ears hmm. too? They mentioned something about coming a little after the sun starts to tilt. So maybe around four? It's three p.m. right now. So we still have to wait one more hour? <laughs> Always make your move early. That's just the basics, you know. Why don't we could grab a burger? 
Hey, I don't know if you should be talking like an expert right hey. now. It's fine, it's fine. Just make sure you keep watched by the window. It'd be bad if you didn't catch Miss Sonya on your way over to the beach, you know? It's our job to keep that from happening. To get to the beach, they gotta pass in front of the diner. Engines revving. You better keep your eyes peeled. This isn't a game. If this isn't a game, then what is it? I really should have just said no. Sitting at the table by the window, I rested my chin on the ha on my hands and absentmindedly stared out the window. Uh, Are they coming? Did they arrive? It hasn't even been 10 minutes yet. 20 minutes passed, and then 30 minutes. As time passed by, the only thing that grew were the volume of my size and the weight of my regret. <laughs> Say, what kind of swimsuits do you think Miss Sonya will wear? Since she's a foreigner, how about a bikini? Don't you feel like there's a pure, innocent, mythical fantasy hiding between the top and bottom of a bikini? Even if I wanted to agree with you, I don't know how to answer that. <laughs> Wait, huh? And that's when it happened. In the corner of my eye, a certain someone walked by the front of the <gasps> diner. Huh? Isn't that... I wonder what happened. I guess I should head over. We left the diner in a hurry and ran to where that person was standing. That person. Can you not say who it is? Is it going to be like a mystery? Oh, I thought it was him. What? You bastards. I knew it was you, Fuyuhiku. What are you doing here? Shut the hell up! That's my line! Hey, hey! What the heck? You're awfully tense. Actually, why do you seem so flustered? Who are you, you... calling flustered? Don't go making false accusations, you bastard. Because he's a woman. Fuyuhiku's a woman, right? 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 Probably. Huh? Don't tell me. Oh man. Is that it? You overheard my plan, didn't you? Huh? P plan? Huh? It's no use playing dumb. You overheard my plan and followed us all the way here, right? Hello! Hey, what are you doing in this place? Oh my my! That's a strange combo. Uh, hello! Uh, hello. Um, today's another wonderful day. Well... You're done for! You're not gonna get away with that I've caught... Wait, what? You're not gonna get away now that I've caught you. Ah, uh, I got so nervous I ended up blurting out something weird. But please don't hate me. I'll take the punishment as much as you'd like. Well... Ah, uh, um, you two. This is such a coincidence. I never expected to coincidentally run into you guys here. He really does suck no. at this. Man, actually, Hajime and I were about to head to the beach together. Oh my. Huh? Could that be what you ladies are here for? That's such a coincidence. It seems like destiny. Aww. Something's obviously suspicious. Your eyes are moving around like salmon before they lay eggs. Well. Oh, wait. I'm always like this. Um, how should I put it? I always pay attention to my surroundings. I can't keep watching this. As I sighed and looked away from that embarrassing sight, I realized that he had disappeared. Huh? Where did Fuyuhiku go? Well... well regardless, you two have arrived pretty early. It's only 3.30. You still have about 30 minutes until you meet the others. Hmm. Come on, they're gonna know. Um... um why do you know we're gonna meet with the others? Why you? And you even know our damn meeting time? Hmm. W well, you see... Now. Anyway, let's cherish the coincidence that brought us together. So is that okay if we join in too? Wow, he got forceful all of a sudden. Aww. So that's your ulterior motive? You're probably here for Sonya, aren't you? Well... I really have no desire to do something so rude, like decline the offer, at all. But Sonya was the one who planned to go to the beach, so we need to ask her. Of course! Then it's all good! It's too devastating to think Miss Sonya would decline, so I just won't think it. Is he being an optimist or a pessimist? I don't really get it. Hey! 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 Is it alright if we can go inside now? Ibuki was going to eat a good meal first. That's why I came early. <laughs> sure thing. Let's wait inside. I can't take my mind off of you, Hiku. Oh well. I've come this far. I can't turn back now. Let's go inside the diner. Let's eat a burger. I returned to the diner and set myself at the table near the window once again. Phew. Without thinking, I couldn't help letting out a big sigh. <laughs> oh, what are you guys going to do about your swimsuits? You want another to change in that beach house, you know? Um. Yes, that's why we're already wearing them. <laughs> What's underneath this uniform isn't panties, it's a swimsuit. Of course! Well, that's obvious. I also came wearing a swimsuit, too. Huh? Really? Uh. Which reminds me, you're not wearing yours yet, huh? Then you gotta go to the bathroom so you can change. Here you go, this is yours. <laughs> Great! Mmm, that's pretty sexy. <laughs> what is this thing? <laughs> uh, it may be rude of me to say this, but... That looks a little too daring. Are you serious? What if something falls out? If this is airing live, you're totally gonna get censored by the network. <laughs> Don't worry, even at its worst, it won't turn into a live action drama. That's not the problem. Hey. What is it then? Are you telling me you don't want to match with me? It, it's matching? 
then I definitely don't want to wear it. I believe fighting is bad, so let's stop. Things are heating up somewhere fierce. When everyone's gonna come, I hope they come soon. And as she said that, Ibuki peeked out the window. Huh? What is it? Look outside! Outside! What's outside? Isn't that Hyoko? Jeez, don't get my hopes up. I thought it was Miss Sonia. Doesn't she seem a little strange? Yeah, she looks like she's got a weird face. If I had to describe it as a song title, it'd be Sprint of Tears. Huh? It looks like she's running from the beach. Did something happen? Despite her questions, Hyoko ran by the front of the by the front of the diner at full speed. Huh? She totally ran past us by. Ran past us, but wasn't she part of the beach crew? Well, uh, apparently she can't swim, so she turned us down. Hmm. But she didn't she just come running from the beach? I'm sorry. I don't really know all the details about that. <laughs> well, it just means women are full of surprises. <laughs> My hero's the type to totally come, but she surprisingly turned us down too. My hero, she did. She turned it down? It's so unexpected of her not to join in an event like this. In fact, she totally planned this sort of thing. That's totally it! But it can't be helped. Apparently she wasn't really feeling well. Um... I'm terribly sorry to continue this topic, but why was Hiyoko crying? Why are you asking us? But if she was sprinting away from the beach and crying, something's definitely wrong. Hey. Whoa! When'd you get here so suddenly? Kazuchi suddenly shouted, and when he was looking at was near the diner's entrance. As I turned around, whoa! My my, how disappointing! I thought if I came early, I'd be the first one to arrive. I couldn't keep myself from staring like an idiot. <laughs> whoa, Chiaki! You came wearing only your swimsuit. I didn't want to carry it with me. If I did, it'd be a serious burden. Serious burden. That's a total exaggeration. But even though you didn't want to carry anything, it looks like you're carrying something. <laughs> okay. Instead of bringing lunch for everyone, I brought ice cream. <gasps> ice cream. Um, it's not like I'm gonna turn it down, but ice cream is completely different from lunch. I don't think it can be used as a substitute. Substitute? Also, I was thinking of stuff we could all do at the beach together. So I brought a board game too. Hmm. Oh, that's cool. Should we play it even though we came all this way to go to the beach? Nah. Hey, hey, hey. Don't hate on beach activities that are not. G g f f fuck it. I just noticed her hairpin too. That's pretty cool. I see. That's disappointing. <gasps> but. <laughs> shut the fuck up. But how should I say this? Is that what Gatmo is supposed to be? For someone normally so quiet to wear such a daring swimsuit, it makes you a little excited, right, Hajime? Well, uh, I don't know. That's what I said, but my heartbeat was actually getting faster and faster. <laughs> Seriously, man, I never expected Chiaki to have such huge jugs. What happened? I'm gonna punch him. I wanna punch him in the face. Jugs? Hey, hey, hey! I didn't say that just now. It was Hajime. He's a pervert, you know. But what are you saying? Whoa. I mean, I only have eyes for Miss Sonia. I've dreamed of going out with a blonde lady ever since I was a kid. Hmm. The size is a little small, but this was the only swimsuit that hey, fit me. Hey. I don't look good in it. Huh? Well, no, I guess you look good. Thanks. Then I'm glad, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> wearing a bikini is sure daring. And you get bonus points for wearing a white one. My heart's not just thumping. It's thumping all sporadically, like ba dump 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 ba dump It's probably a heart attack. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I kept you waiting. Uh, we heard a voice at the diner store slowly open. And the person who walked through it was... What the fuck? What the fuck is wrong with you? Hey, sorry to keep you guys waiting. Ah! Akane! Okay. What happened to you? What? Is something wrong? I made sure to wear a swimsuit this time. Not that! Your wounds! It, it wouldn't be strange if we nicknamed you Carrie right now. Uh, oh, you're talking about these. <laughs> On my way over here, I happened to run into Coach Nekomaru, and when that happens, I gotta fight him, you know? Why does she have to do that? Uh, are you really alright? Your head, it looks like it's split in half. Well, it'll heal as long as I rub some spit in it, right? <laughs> okay. You're totally playing up the power of human spit. <laughs> I'm all fired up now. I never knew such a strong opponent even existed. 
Anyway, you need to be treated. And you also need a wound sterilized. Akane, please come with me. With an unusually forceful demeanor, Mikan pulled Akane into the bathroom. <laughs> That's why she's the ultimate nurse. Well, it's gonna be okay if we leave it to her. Hey. What's all this ruckus? All right. Oh, who is it this time? Oh, I forgot you were a character. Ajiman, Kazuichi, why are you two here? Is this scene? Is this is this whole like scene, just so we could look at the girls? Cause I, I couldn't have done without it. Hey, aren't you breathing pretty heavily? I just did a little swimming. A little swimming? I swam around the island for about three hours. <coughs> okay. That's too obvious for me not to comment on. That's definitely not a little swimming. Why were you already swimming? You guys are about to swim now, right? Isn't that why you're all meeting up? It wasn't for my enjoyment. I was trying to see if I could swim to a different island. Huh? But I couldn't find any other islands. It seems it may be difficult to leave this island by swimming. If you didn't see anything after you swam for three hours, it's more than difficult. It's impossible. Yeah, that may be true. Hey! Hajime. Hmm? What? Awesome! A woman with wet, slick back hair is pretty fine too, huh? And this body too, man. Young ladies are sure well endowed nowadays. Is that a challenge against all the women in the world? Fine. Ibuki accepts that challenge with the power of technology. Time to pump these puppies full of silicone. Don't say such asinine things. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it looks like everyone is almost here. And it's already past four. If so, all that's left is... I am terribly sorry for my delay. Ah! Miss Sonia's here. I hope she looks really ugly. Uh! Alright, what kind of sexy swimsuit is Miss Sonia wearing? Nice! Ah! It's a wetsuit! Are you kidding me? That looks... That looks so good! Wow! Oh, whatever. It is to prevent sunburn. I do not want my skin to be sun damaged. However, as I have never worn a wetsuit before, I had a hard time putting it on, which resulted in my delay. Really? It is my bad. Oh my. I see. A wetsuit. Well, Miss Sonia does have beautiful white skin. Miss Sonia! But that tight outfit of hers is amazing. Just what I'd expect from a 100% purebred princess. This guy, he's quick to recover. Um, anyway, why are you two here? Uh, I'll answer that, Miss Sonia. I'll be honest. If you're going to go to the beach, please let us come with I you. I am concerned. Well, this was originally supposed to be a girls-only outing to strengthen our friendship with each other. <laughs> Do you think you can make an exemption? Pretty please? Um, well, it's okay. It's not like there'd be any problems, even if there are some boys. Then... You're right. They came all the way here. It would be bad if we made them leave. <laughs> Ah, Miss Sonia is just too kind. Alright, right, now that it's decided, let's get going. But Akane's wounds are still being treated. Shut up! Shut, Shut up. up! There's no way I can just stand around. I'll go on ahead and you prepare. I'll set up the parasol and prepare the drinks. Engines revving. I mean, it. I promise I'll give it my all to serve you. Everyone has fun. What? With an abnormal amount of gusto, he bolts it out of the diner. Um, I'm surrounded by girls in swimsuits. This is a little awkward. I, I should go help Kazuyuchi too. As I mumbled my excuse, I ran out of the diner. Almost as if I were escaping. I, have we not gone to the beach yet? There's obviously someone, something happened there because the girl ran from there screaming. Chandelier's Beach. Or Chandelier Beach. Whatever. Is that the... Huh? That bell just now. Could it be? A body has been discovered! Now then... After a certain amount of time has passed, the class trial will begin! Oh shit. A, a body? That's a lie. Impossible. Someone. Someone come here! That was definitely Kazuyuchi's voice just now. It sounds like he's nearby. Let's go. Let's go. Kazuchi? Kazuchi! Where you at? Kazuchi! Kamikaze! Kazuchi! Where you at? Homeboy! Homeboy! Are you inside? Maybe he's inside. Maybe he's inside. Go inside. Go inside. Go inside. Go inside. Go inside. Go inside. Kazuchi scream. Did I really hear it coming from here? No. What am I being nervous about? 
There's no reason for me to be nervous. There's every reason to be nervous. Someone's literally just died. What the fuck are you talking about? A body discovery announcement? I won't believe it. I'm not going to believe it. There's no way I'll believe it. Who would believe something like that? As I raised my voice, I swiftly stepped inside the beach house. I won't believe it. The moment I stepped inside the beach house, these words mercilessly shatter into pieces. Please let it be. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Woo! If this was all a dream, when did I... When did I begin dreaming? If this is reality, why is my hero on the floor covered in blood? I couldn't understand anything that was in front of me. And I couldn't believe in anything. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. We on deadly life mode now, bitch. Mahiru Koizumi, the ultimate photographer. She had an unyielding voice of personality, but she was actually very good at taking care of people. And she was always straightforward toward us and toward herself. She was always facing forward. She was that kind of person. Why her? Why Mahiru? Why? Why did this happen to her? The muscles in my face stiffened and grew hard. Darkness clouded my vision. My legs started to wobble, and I, insti and I instinctively placed my hand against the wall. Damn it! Hey, Hajime. Before this, we were having a great time, right? We were excited about going to the beach. We were having a lot of fun, but why? Are you kidding me? Why did something like this happen? Someone tell me! I obviously don't know what's going on oh. either. Um. Huh? Uh, um. <laughs> Now is not the time to make bubbles! Hurry and get the others! Ibuki instantly left the beach house. I'm sure it took some time for everyone else to come here. They had to change and whatnot. It must have taken some time. But I didn't really know how much time had passed. My senses were numbed. My emotions were also numbed. Within me, various layers were peeling off. I never liked her. I never liked her. I always thought she was annoying and boring. <laughs> My senses started to return. Around the time I realized that the others were already here. Huh? What, what the hell is this? <coughs> Why Mahiru? These girls were standing outside the door leading to the beach. Their faces pale with terror. Like this. For, for heaven's sake, what in the world is going on? With her pale faces still intact, the girls begin wobbling toward the beach house. Until a voice stops hold them. It. Ah, hold on a sec. Hmm. Those things beneath you. Be careful not to step on them. What? Beneath? See? You know, the footprints in front of the door? These footprints leading out of the beach house, right? That's probably an important clue. So don't step on them. Huh? If you mean evidence... Monokuma mentioned in the announcement, right? After a certain amount of time, we'll hold a class trial. What the? Another class trial? Are serious? Then, are you saying this is... That's right! That's right! When have you guys killed her? Lies. Killed? That's impossible! Hey, hey. It's not like... An accident or something. Lie. If you guys think that's an accident, then that mean that still means this Words. death was caused by someone else's actions, right? That also counts as a legitimate murder. Though such details fall into a gray area on this island, I'll make sure it's clear to you guys. On this island, dying from sickness is basically the only death that's not considered a murder. <laughs> well, it's impossible to get sick and die on the island, not when Monami takes such good care of people. What's this? Oh, speaking of which. I don't like there this. it is, the silent treatment attack. This is like the number one thing that hurts me. Yeah. Well, fine. I'm not gonna lose to your bashing. I've decided to become a tough kid. <laughs> this is the worst. Once again, this horrible nightmare. Another victim, and it's all because of Monokuma. No way. Jeez, it's not my fault, huh? Then whose fault is it, you ask? Yeah. To find out, we hold the class trial. So... Let's begin already. No whining. Just begin already. It's the okay. Monokuma. I shall pass out the Monokuma file number two. This should start to feel familiar. Do your best. Your very best to investigate. I'll see you later in the class trial. <laughs> class trial? Investigation? This is horrible. It's just too horrible. Hey. Then you should have stopped the murder before it occurred. Don't you have that kind of power? <laughs> That's... I did have the power before it happened. Perhaps. Before he appeared. Even if you tried to stop it. Judging from Monokuma and Monami's relationship, there's no doubt she'd get stopped herself. 
Yes, Monokuma took everything away, including the magic stick and the surveillance cameras. The only thing I can rely on are these ears, but they can only hear about three times that of a normal person. So basically... You have no idea what's happening on this island in the first place. <laughs> I'm just the worst. A powerless rabbit like me is the worst. <laughs> hey, now's not the time to focus on something like that. More importantly, what should we do? Uh, uh, do we have to do it again? That's a cruel thing. We have to do it again? Why? I cannot believe it. Maru was killed by one of us. Damn it! Yeah, I, I can't do this anymore. Investigating the class trial. Seriously, I'm done. Everyone feels the same, but we can't do anything else except do it. A and there's no way we can just ignore the reason Mahiro was killed. Hey. Yeah, the only thing we can do is investigate. Cause it's bad. Because we should never forgive that. Killing is something we should never forgive. Yeah? Chiaki, the killer has their reasons. I understand that. It was the same for Teru Teru, too. It, it's really all Monokuma's fault. I understand that, too. But even so, killing. we should never forgive never killing. Allow it. She usually has her head in the clouds. So far, f so for her to say something like that, she probably can't forgive this at all. But that's true of me, too. Forgive? There's that word, forgive. It has, it sounds like it has something to do with the video game, but I can't, I can't seem to put the pieces together. I, I kind of thought it was going to be here because the girl in the video game said she had photographs. Hmm. I have a feeling that this redheaded girl took some pictures of someone she wasn't supposed to. Or something that she wasn't supposed to. Alright, here's my, here's my prediction. Actually, should I even say it? I don't want to say it, because if I get it right, then I don't want anyone to tell me that I did. <laughs> I want to figure it out. Hmm. What should I do about this? Well, it's not like I'm ever right with my predictions anyway. I kind of think... I kind of think that Mahiru took pictures of some secret that Fuyuhiku has. And so, like, I don't know. Maybe Fuyuhiku is really a girl. Which I've thought since day one. And I still do. And, like, I don't know. It just seems too convenient. It seems too much like the other thing. And so, like, Fuhiku wanted her to delete it. Or, I don't know. Fuck me. I don't know. I'm probably wrong. Understood. Regardless, everyone's gonna die if we don't do it. In order for us all to survive, we must do it. I'm gonna do it! Then let's do this! Perhaps. Mahiru probably wants us to do this, too. She would want us to reveal the truth behind her death. <laughs> I understand. If everyone's doing it, I'll do it, too, but... But please, give me a little time. Please give me time to calm myself down a little. Also, I won't go and tell the others who aren't aware about this. You're right. If all you heard was the announcement, you won't know where the murder took place. <laughs> I shall excuse myself for now. Hey. Then let's begin. Who killed Mahiru Koizumi? Why was she killed? <laughs> we gotta find out and solve this already. That's right, we have to do it. It's the only way. I don't want to do this, but that's more the reason for us to finish this. I'm the only one who can do this. First, I need to take a look at the Monokuma file, which we will do in the next episode where we'll have the, I think this is going to have to be split into three different parts going forward. The investigation, the class trial part one, and class trial part two, because apparently these class trials are really motherfucking long, but conveniently they put a little break in between. So I'm, I'm kind of, you know, I'm kind of grateful about that. So it, it lets us know, it gives us like a, uh an organized time frame for class trials. So, I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Don't forget to leave uh, your likes and comments, so let me know you guys want to see this series continue. I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Later!